hey guys and welcome back to another video i'm gonna do a reading for the sign of Gemini. god universe angels spirit gods and ancestors please give us some clear precise messages for the sign of gemini the messages do it for the gemini people out there god universe angels spirit gods and ancestors messages for the gemini people for the Gemini people, what messages do we have for the Gemini people? Five of Swords. I feel like the Gemini. There could be a mental... Is there mental confliction going on here when it comes to what makes you happy? It could be a lover's connection. It doesn't have to be that Gemini energy, but somebody's mentally conflicted about what emotionally fulfills them. Is they're conflicted between apologizing and making it right and just being good on their own. Or they're conflicted in between accepting an apology and just being good on their own. Okay. Because all everybody don't need it, ain't the one need to apologize. Okay, Queen of Cups. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. But they would like to find a balance with here, two of Pentacles. But they trapped in their mind when it comes to doing so. I keep crying for you. What the fuck is that? I keep crying for you. Somebody feeling sad about this shit. Because they was mentally conflicted. But, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll just worry about that later. I don't need nobody ending my video. Okay. So, somebody's mentally conflicted when it came to what emotionally fulfilled them. And now they want to apologize. Because it's like, oh, somebody felt like they was better off on their own. But they're not better off on their own. They want some mental. They want some emo emotional fulfillment. They have the Queen of Cups here. This is about unconditional love. This is about um, the heart space. Follow being deep in your emotions. This is about following your heart. Okay, talking about the Queen of Cups. She's very intuitive. She's very nurturing. She's very emotional. Okay, there you go, Gemini. That's you. Going with a water sign woman. Okay. There it is, because you made, there it is, see, I can't make this shit up, because you made choices, movements, and decisions to say that you was better off on your own than try to give in to this emotional fulfillment. Now you got anxiety because she done walked away from you and the lover's connection. Now you experiencing hurt. Now you want to reconcile. Now you want to put them burdens down and rush in to tell this woman that you really care about her. Could have earth in your chart. It could be a king of pentacles dealing with a Gemini woman that wants to rush in and tell you this, Okay. But somebody made their choices, movements, and decisions to say that they was better off on their own. And now the Queen of Cups don't walk away or whoever don't walk away. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, somebody don't walk away. And now this person is trying to recollect, reconsider. Think about what they said and what they did. Think about the choices, movements, and decisions that they made. Why? Yep, because of that Three of Swords just popped out. It's because this person is hurting now. It's her, they hurting behind this Queen of Cups disappearing, walking away or whatever the fuck she did. Or the Queen of Swords. They heard it because it was an illusion being presented. And now it's been shattered due to something. That's something. Yeah, the, the clarity. Look, the Emperor. It's the Emperor. Mr. Emperor, you're dealing with some things. The Emperor is dealing with some things. Whether you are the Gemini or the person dealing with the Gemini, you're dealing with some things. Because right now, it's time for you to take charge of the confusion, of the illusion. It's time for you to take charge of the heartbreak. It's time for you to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. It's time for you to be honest and truthful when it comes to the Divine Feminine. When it comes to the Queen of Wands, see, so if you want to move forward, find some type of balance in the situation, and you're going to have to do it as the King of Wands, taking charge of what you know is this spiritual connection, right? When it comes to this Pisces, when it comes to a Leo, when it comes to the things that you were made very aware of, the fact that you feeling King of Cupish about somebody, right? Now you want to find the balance and you're feeling hurt because the person that walked out on you, you never know what you got until it's gone is what that is. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Yeah, the Hierophant is what's breaking, breaking somebody's heart. Mm-hmm. And they're surrendering. They're ready to surrender to this Empress. Yep. Yeah. Their heart is broken. They're ready to surrender to the Empress because they had it all wrong. Or because of... Oh, that's too many, Spirit. That's too many. Come on now. 
Ace of Cups. Yep, we're going to keep it anyway. Look, Spirit get to tell me what too many is, not me. See? And that's what it all boils down to. Look at the bottom of the deck. Same three cards when we first started. Mentally conflicted about the your lover's connection. Mentally conflicted about what emotionally fulfills you. So you're sabotaging. Sabotaging. Even though your intuition is telling you. But you're sitting there acting like the wounded warrior saying you've been through too much and you better off on your own. That's what you were saying. Right? But now look. Now you're trying to offer this love. Now you're trying to take some type of leap of faith here. And balance out the situation. You want to offer the cup of love. And you want to do it based on faith. Why? Because you was in and out of a situation. You was non-committal. You wasn't whatever the case may be. You was not who you were supposed to be as a divine masculine. Or this person was not who you was supposed to be to you. Gemini feminine. Okay? Right. So now, when it comes to this spiritual connection to Hierophant, now somebody wants to come in with some committal energy after this. Non-committal. Now they're coming in saying solid and committed. I want to be committed. Right. And they're I feel like they were scared. They were nervous. They would it was like because they've been through a lot. But see, now they're coming in here quick with this eight of wands energy because they're putting their guard down. Seven of wands reverse. They're surrendering. They're you know, they're they're giving in, right? And they're gonna go ahead and apologize. And all of this is being done based upon a leap of faith. Right? Because somebody was trapped in their mind. Or they still are, but they were trapped in their mind when it came to this whole situation. Some about this eight of swords. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with an earth sign. Now we got the queen of pentacles. I've seen the king of pentacles. See, see look, they was trapped in their mind due to a painful ending that hurt. So when it came to starting a brand new triumph and beginning in love, this person was stagnated. See, but now they've been made aware with the sun card and now they're ready to put the work in. But it's a tower, right? It's a powerful revelation be, being brought to you by the sun card. Right? When it comes to you being trapped in your head about what's supposed to be done in the future. Why? Because you was too busy holding back or holding on to the past. It's up to you. But I feel like you've been doing some type of healing. You've been doing, working on a lot of nurturing. Nurturing yourself. Okay? Healing. Looking within. Going deep. Whether this is you, Gemini, or somebody dealing with you. Okay? Somebody's going within, going deep, looking at that stuff that caused them to be mentally conflicted, looking into at the stuff that made them stay trapped in their mind by fear, looking at that past ending that hurt it so bad that it kept them holding on to it for four of pentacles. Now they made aware with the sun car energy. What's the sun? The four of pentacles. Tell me about this four of pentacles for Gemini. Yep. Somebody was having sabotage their future by holding on to their past. And not even the past that they was holding on to. They held on to the hurt that the past caused them. So, yep, somebody could have been dealing with a Capricorn. We got the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Yep, there it is. The past fucked you up so bad. Sorry, but it happens to us. It scarred you. The past and hurt you. Keeping you scared and sabotaging your future. Now look at it. Here go that Gemini woman that done cut you out. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, Gemini woman. But then you to cut this person out because you're feeling like they're giving it to. they treating you like an option and they got you fucked up. Now they're forced to reflect on that because you done cut their ass out. Talking about the hermit. Now this is a reflecting. This is what happens when they reflect. When they force the, sh when the universe is showing them how they've been behaving versus what they think they've been doing and how they think they've been behaving. Because people are quick to say, I'm a good person. But then when they get shown by the universe, well, this ain't good, this ain't good, this wasn't being good, then they be like, oh, shit. And people be scrambling around to try to fix themselves. We shouldn't be, it shouldn't be happening to be too late for us to realize things. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be in tune. We're supposed to be listening to our intuition and staying close to the Lord, being prayed up. See, because now somebody wants to transform a situation. Three major arcana, major transformation. Now they want to transform. Now they want to manifest. Now they want to bring in healing. Now they want to offer something small but something solid. Why? You guessed it. Because the change in perspective has come through. And now they're ready to talk. Now they're ready to bring in healing. Now they're ready to take charge of the destiny. Have a new chance. Taking charge of destiny and bringing in some healing. Now they're ready to do that. Why? Because they was forced to reflect on their own shit. And that own shit that they was forced to reflect on let them know that they was not as good as they thought they was. And now they want to take charge. Now they want to heal it. Now they want to fix it. Now they want to turn over a new leaf. Because if you think in a situation that you're behaving so great, you're being a, such a good person and in the universe turn around and show you, you was not as good of a person as you thought you were. Then you start feeling really bad. And you start wanting to take charge of it. I know because this has been me before. I came out with a video telling y'all that 
I the role I played in the twin flame that is necessary because in the beginning you do all of this pointing saying you was wrong you did me like this and I wouldn't fuck with you because of this and then when the Lord shows you how you moved and how you operated and how you should have did then you start to say damn maybe I would have fucked with that person maybe I would have moved differently maybe I would have trusted you maybe I would have took a leap of faith with you if if was a fifth we'd all be drunk so baby you need to follow your intuition okay because now you're in a situation where you gemini or cross watcher whoever it is now you're in a situation where you're forced to reflect on something deeply and you have to try to take charge of it because you really do want it but now that you got to take charge of it it's fuck around and be too late for you there's a possibility that it's too late because when your intuition was nudging you to go that way you were not listening to it because you were holding on to something else too tightly and you cannot focus on what the Lord was trying to say to you. So now you're hoping after reflecting, going deeply, that it's not too late. Not too late to take charge of this. Not too late to bring healing into what you know is destined for you now. But you always felt something. You just didn't follow it because you were trying to be in your logical mind. It is not, you don't always need to be logical just because you air. Okay? Or just because you're dealing with air. Right? So, but that's what I got for you, Gemini. And I do hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in your next video. Have a blessed day and a nice weekend.